It is the adrenaline rush of want, need, nostalgia, and speed, an orgy of desire fueled by words like Cobra, Hemi, Cuda, and 442. Five days, 500 cars, all wrapped up by four little words. Back in the day. Back in the day, the Charger, and I always relate back to the 1968 Charger, which was the real, in my opinion, the real Charger. A lot of guys had them back in the day, and they beat them up pretty bad, and got rid of them and moved on to station wagons and had families. And then later on, they kind of missed their cars. And this is where you go to find those missing cars and a little piece of who you used to be. The Russo and Steel 7th Annual Sports and Muscle in Scottsdale Auction. One of four collector car auctions held outside Phoenix during the same week in the first quarter every year. $164 million worth of rolling yesterdays changed hands in six days. Sold the car, 160000 Those passions that go through those cars are so much a part of American pulp culture. Right here, right here, 43. Drew Alcazar, who for 15 years had his own car restoration business as the owner and CEO of Russo and Steel. Just seven years old, his company specializes in muscle cars, which for the last half decade have left the other collector segments behind at the line as it burnt rubber to record prices. This year, RS sold over $20 million in cars at the Scottsdale event. Hey! $250,000! Watch as a Corvette, once owned by Mercury 7 astronaut Gus Grissom, goes for a quarter of a million dollars. Muscle cars, my era, so I just love muscle cars. It is the prevailing sentiment, and the average buyer-seller collector is exactly who you think it is. Mostly male, mostly baby boomer age, mostly high net worth individuals with the cash to indulge their passion. You're helping people play with their toys. That, that's a pretty neat business to be in. I have 15 or 20 cars now, and if you had to say I have a fair number of Corvettes, fair number of Shelbys, Shelby Cobras, and a few Camaros, but all the cars that are special to me are American cars between 1960 and 1970. But make no mistake, it is a business, and not only for Alcazar's company, combined, it's a $2 billion a year industry. Muscle cars, defined loosely as American-made, mid-sized automobiles of mid-60s to mid-70s vintage with full-sized engines, just one of the segments. And while prices have softened some across the board, overall, it's a strong market. But if I look at it purely as a businessman, this is a $2 billion business now, and, uh, and $2 billion businesses don't go away overnight. And neither do memories. Just look around. Still looking for my 63 Plymouth Fury 4-speed with a 383.